All right, welcome back, guys. So, Arcos de Baja Family Adventures, and this adventure is only going to get better. So, the new boat finally came. So, super excited. We're going to unbox it right now. We'll take a look at what it is in the box, how the box looks. We'll take it out. We'll get it inflated, check it all, make sure everything's good, and then uh, we're just waiting for some more parts to come to put everything together to uh, get it out on the water. But first steps first, uh, it's here, so we're totally stoked. So come on, let's, uh, let's get this thing unboxed and take a look at it. Okay, so this is the Saturn FB385DG. This is the 13-foot heavy-duty fishing uh, boat. So you can see, I'm just going to go around. This is how it came. This is how the box came. They are pretty specific on there not to return the item because the box being banged up a little bit. Um, and then here is the floor that goes with it. So this is a, the aluminum floor. Came in this box. So without further ado, let's get this box open and see what our new boat looks like. Oh, look at that. You gonna go ride your bike? Yeah. Okay. All right. So <laughs> let's see what we got here. Device. First, we've got the oh the front I motor mount go. for the trolling motor, which I don't think we're gonna use, but coming with it. That must be the part that goes on to that. I found this. Let's see what else we got. Alright, so this is... What is this? Oh, the fishing rod holders that it comes with. It's like a little extra that they have that they put in there. Repair kit. plug okay all right paperwork sweet we'll need that for the DMV and boat okay so I'm not really sure how to get it out of here <laughs> what's that Well, this is cool too because it shows you how it's supposed to go back in. And the excitement of things. You forget. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. Wow, that's thick. Okay, 
Wow. All right, well. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get it partially blown up like they say to do. And then, uh, and then go from there. Okay. All right. Okay. Now the other box, it has the floor in it. And I'm hoping the pump, this one has the carrying bag for the floor, hand pump, set of oars, Side rails, two aluminum seats, Oops. and then the floor itself. Okay. All right. So let's let's do what the instructions were. Get the boat some air in it, and then we'll put it in the floor. Okay, so shadows are terrible. Sorry. Where are you? Where are you running to? Where are you running to? Okay, so got it partially inflated, and we will get the floor in now. in the back. And four. So three. <laughs> okay. And then four. And so the trick was the trick was Get four in. Okay. To get four in like that, and then kind of TP up four and three. That together, and then push them down. Okay, so that's that. Now the rails. See how much easier that slid in? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're totally right. Okay. Whew, made me sweat. All right, seats. Now, got two aluminum seats. And uh, we actually have on order uh, two flip up seats for Maria and the boy. Um, and we're gonna build a nice seat box for, with the gas tank holder up front. But for now, we can put these seats in 
and just see how it looks. And according to the installation instructions, you're supposed to put it in right now before you inflate it all the way. Okay, so come look. This is one of the reasons why we bought this. So from the rub bar on the side all the way down is double layer PVC. Um, and then they put these uh, rub bars right here on the bottom. So right here in the keel on the bottom of the other tube. So this thing is made to uh, take a little bit of a beating. So it's gonna be nice putting it through its paces down in the Baja. Oh man. It's not light, that's for sure. No bloopers this time. <laughs> Okay, so we got it put together and uh, still learning curve, but check this thing out. So look at this. It's got the double splash guard where you can strap stuff down. Heavy duty, thick rubber piece right here. Uh, we've got the two seats in. We've got some modifications we're gonna do. We threw our cooler in just to see how it fit. It fits awesome on, the, uh, on YouTube so people can see and um, I, I looked for this boat and only found two videos. Yeah, look at this. I mean, this thing is just thick as all could be. Yeah, so thanks for, thanks for uh, watching, guys, and putting this together. Uh, like I said, we'll have more about this boat as we go on and, and, and get the modifications done to it that we're going to do. Um, but so far, man, it's looking super cool. It's like heavy duty, more than I expected for for real like it's legit solid inflatable boat and i know that i don't have it to the correct psi um but yeah so this is the fb 385 dg uh is what was on the box it's the 13 foot um saturn heavy duty fishing inflatable and it has the inflatable keel which that's that's what we wanted um and it is five person one child is what it says on the transom. Um, so five, I'll just say five person, 30 horsepower max, 680 kilos. So yeah, this, uh, the Saturn inflatable 13 uh, foot is five person, 30 horsepower, and so five person, 30 horsepower, 680 kilo capacity total capacity um 
yeah this is legit we're gonna make it cooler than it is but right now it's pretty darn cool and like i said man, this thing is solid but look i don't even have it pumped up see that i don't even have it inflated to what it's supposed to be we just want to get some of the wrinkles out and it's solid as all get up right now so yeah pardon the messy garage but we wanted to pull it in and just let it kind of stay inflated so the 13 footer here it is more to come thanks for watching guys and uh see where we go with this